Hello, this is a short training video designed to show you how to configure a Dell Thin Client running Wise Thin OS and how we would manually configure that device to connect to an environment running Citrix virtual apps and desktops. So like I like to do in a lot of my demos, uh, I want to show you a little bit about the environment that we're going to connect to before we actually configure the Thin OS client. So if we look at here, this is my Citrix environment. And if we look at the delivery groups, I have two delivery groups configured. Uh, I've got one that's a Windows 10 desktop, so I've got a pool there. And then I've also got a Windows 2016 delivery group. In that 2016 delivery group, uh, I've got a couple applications just so you can see how the device connects. So I've got uh, Windows Calculator and Internet Explorer. Um, and so we'll be able to connect and see those applications. If we look at my Citrix storefront, um, let's make note of the URL and notice that it's running HTTPS. Because it's running HTTPS, let's go ahead and get the security certificate. So one of the ways that I found to get that is just copy the storefront URL into a browser. And then when you click on the little lock and the view the certificate, as long as you've enabled the ability to download from your browser, you should be able to actually um, download the security certificate. Um, now make sure if you need a certificate security chain, meaning the root and the intermediate, that you get all three of those certificates. In this case, I only need one, so I'm saving that needed certificate out to a thumb drive. And I'll show you, I'm going to use that thumb drive later and import it to my Wise ThinOS client. So I've just went ahead and named it to uh, demo 3 Citrix, the name of my server. Um, and now um, you can see it's sitting there on my thumb drive. So let's look at my actual Wise ThinOS client. Um, it's actually entering the setup wizard, which is what it'll do if you reset the device to the default. Uh, we're not going to load uh, from a thumb drive, or at least we're not going to load a configuration file. We'll set the language, the keyboard layout, and the time zone to Eastern time zone. Uh, if I click on advanced under time zone, you can actually see there's some additional settings regarding the daylight saving stop and start, but I'm not going to go ahead and make any changes to that. I'm not going to use a management server that's coming in the next video. Uh, I am going to just directly configure with the wizard my connection broker. So what I need here, I'm going to set it up to Citrix and I'm going to go ahead and put my storefront URL in there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and enable the Citrix theme for ThinOS Lite. It's going to go ahead and set some, some visual settings on the device um, and I'm going to go ahead and use the storefront style. Um, and then I could, um, what, what I could do is actually I can click on uh, the certificate manager here. And now I've got my USB thumb drive and that's that um, certificate that I actually exported uh, from my Internet Explorer. So now I've actually imported the certificate to my ThinOS client and I've set the broker and I've set the theme. And once I click on done, it's going to go ahead and restart the Thin client. And again, this is real time. Uh, ThinOS devices boot extremely quick and it's actually set the Citrix theme that I specified there. Um, and it's going to actually come up now and prompt me to log in. Um, and so I've got a user and put my username, password, and domain in here. And then go ahead and click on login. And you can see the applications that I have available. If I go over and click on apps, uh, you can see, again, this is the storefront style. So I can subscribe to applications or unsubscribe what I want on my desktop. If I hit Internet Explorer, you can see this is a published application. So this is actually a fairly common case. Even though ThinOS doesn't have Internet Explorer, um, I can publish it via Citrix. So I've got a seamless instance of Internet Explorer running on my ThinOS client. In this case, I've actually connected to a Windows 10 desktop. So if I go ahead and log off here, that'll bring me back to my uh, ThinOS client. It's my list of applications here. Again, there I'll go ahead and close my Internet Explorer. And now I'm going to shut down the device and restart and reset the system to factory defaults. So as I mentioned before, when I reset a ThinOS client to factory defaults, if it doesn't find a management suite server, which is specified through DNS or option tags, it'll enter this wizard. But I'm going to actually um, exit out of the wizard. So no, we're not going to load an INI file. We're going to exit. And I want to show you kind of a second way to manually do this. So if you look now under remote connections, I'm going to set my broker type to Citrix Zen. 
and I'm going to put in that same Citrix broker server. Um, I want to make sure that I put in my Citrix that full URL, so I'm going to do my server, um, and then I'm going to put it out and include slash Citrix and slash store, which is the name of my uh, store. And I'm going to make sure I'm using storefront style. And I can go ahead and pre-populate my sign-in domain uh, if I want to do that inside of here and click OK and go ahead and reboot. So once the device comes up, it'll reboot. Now, you remember after I reset the default, I set the URL manually, but I did not import the certificate. So I need to actually import that from the thumb drive. So I kind of wanted you to see what would happen there. So now I've imported and restart. So if you see that security error uh, that I just saw there, that may mean that you have, don't have the right certificate or you don't have a certificate at all installed. So um, now that I've, again, the first time I exited out of the wizard, I set the broker to my storefront site. And now that I've imported uh, my correct certificate, I can log in. And like I did before, I get my list of applications here um, on the device. So let's go ahead again. We can subscribe to Calc and we can launch Calculator. Uh, I can see a, a different published application. And we'll go at this time connect to the, the Windows 2016 server desktop. just to see that uh, we connect. Once we're connected here, I'm just going to log back out, go ahead and close my published application, my published calculator. So uh, just a quick video of a couple ways to manually configure a wise ThinOS client to connect to Citrix virtual apps and desktops. Um, we're going to go over in the next videos how to install the WISE management suite and how you would configure a policy. Um, hopefully you found this video useful. Uh, stay around and watch the follow-on videos. Thank you.